survive that accident uh, later in this program, we hope. In other news, the Emmy Awards for the best daytime television shows were awarded today here in Manhattan. Maxine Black reports on this rather special day for the soap operas and for the people who work in them. When I say Luke Spencer, what do you say? <laughs> What's the secret? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm not aware of... of uh, I mean, that's a nice word to use. I don't know what that means. Uh, secret? Yeah. Oh, the schmutz. Yeah. Cynics call the book the great escape. Well, that may be true, but for millions who tune in every day, the storylines and characters are very real. The actors who turn these shows into smash hits make it all look easy, but the work schedule is grueling and the pressure's tremendous. I don't always handle it well. I just keep fighting, and I try very hard not to throw in the towel. Move, 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 move. There are, however, rewards, including the adulation from fans. And today, these people who bring so much pleasure to so many got a little pleasure themselves. Recognition from their peers for jobs well done. All these people are winners, but among the ones to take the Emmy home, Judith Light named Best Actress for One Life to Live. But what were your thoughts? I didn't have any, as you obviously saw. I was, um, uh, I, I'm absolutely shocked and so thrilled because I think One Life to Live is one very, very special show. I'm so amazed still that I, I can't take it in. I was sure I wouldn't win, but I'm terribly happy, of course. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I love the soap, and if I had one more life to live, I'd spend the days of our lives in another world watching these characters in their continuous search for tomorrow. Today at the Daytime Emmys, I'm Maxine Black, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.